Hello everyone. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and getting through this. I worked from home this morning for a few hours. Now I'm at Red Rocks to run hopefully 8 to 10 before I head into the office to finish my day there which I'll be working till about 5.30. So, yeah, it's my day, but I'm sure enjoying this beautiful weather. It's so hot out here. But I have my buff that I've been putting on as I pass people, try to stay safe and respectful of other people out here. Haven't seen too many people. I think about four people so far, and I'm what am I? A little over, just over two miles in. So, but, oh, it's nice. Anyway, let me continue on. And keep enjoying this. I really enjoy this part of my route. I do this route quite often here in Red Rocks. I mean, look at the views. Oh, look at this. Still on the Red Rocks. It's a bit trail at the top part. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, in a video I posted, I believe I posted on an anniversary day, March 24th, it's my wife and I, 30th wedding anniversary, and Joyce from California, who I ran a lot of the Havelina 100k race with in 2018, hopefully our paths change or cross again soon, uh, asked, how did you guys make it? 30 years with a strong marriage. So before I answer that question, uh, well, I'll give you a little background of, of Liz and I. Yeah, we've been married 30 years. I was just turned 27 when we got married and Liz was just short of her 26th birthday. So, a long time ago. I'm 57 right now. Anyway, she's German. I met her in Germany when I was stationed there in the Army. I had spent 12 years in the military. Four years in the Navy. Then eight years in the Army. So, we got married in Minnesota where I grew up. And then... We went back to Germany, where I was still serving in the Army. But I got out in December 93, we came to Colorado. We've been here ever since then. But in 2022, we plan on retiring in Germany. So looking forward to that. Uh, so the question was, from Joyce after I posted that video you know again how did you guys make it so strong for 30 years and the answer popped in my mind right away 
head. So I posed the question to Liz as we were there sitting in the living room watching TV and she immediately came up with her answer and both of our answers were the same, which I knew it was going to be, but it is funny how quick uh, we uh, came to the same answer. Okay guys, so take a stab at it. What do you think our answer was to that question? How did we make it 30 years with such a good marriage? Any ideas? Well, that answer for both of us was space or me time or however you want to label that. But each of us are very independent and we both have our own hobbies, but there is stuff that we definitely love to do together. But I believe that everyone needs to have their own time. You can't be together 24 seven. Can't always be hanging out doing the same thing day in and day out. So uh, yeah, that was our answer space, be time. We each enjoy our own hobbies, but we also enjoy each other's company and the stuff that we like to do together. So I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but that's what works for us. And well, it's working good for 30 years. So here's to another 30 years. Alrighty. Boy, look at this. This is so beautiful out here. Okay, for anyone watching this, I'd be curious to hear what your answer would be that makes your marriage good and lasting. Especially I love to read them. Well, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I was not the first couple miles, but it took in the package of sport being scaffolded on one and that seemed to help. All right, I just want to stop here and show you the view. So beautiful. I'm a little over five and a half miles into my run. Feeling pretty good. So let's continue on. Look at that. That is Roundup Trail. Alrighty, that last hill, oh my god, that was hard. About nine miles into my run. Thank goodness the rest of this way is basically downhill. But it's all good. Another awesome run. About 11 miles a little over. So good climb going through the park. Really good pace for me, so I'm very happy. Uh, now it's time to get to work, take a shower, eat lunch, and uh, get some work done. See you guys.